So I know that canned wine is more of like a summertime thing, but I found these at the winery and the guy told me that this was really, really quality canned wine. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Also the can. So this is the Nomadica red wine blend. It says on the back, craft wines from around the world, sommelier created, designed by artists, run by women. That's what it was that really like got me. I was like, I'm getting the can. So cool. This is a dry, bright red wine blend, 12% alcohol by volume. Well, this is so cool. They even tell you who did the artwork for the can and they give you their Instagram account and then they also, I guess, give you like a song that goes along with it you can find on Spotify. This is a third of a bottle of wine, light sustainable, BPA free. This is really, really cool and it's very tasty. I actually put it in the fridge because I was told I can chill it. So not only is it red wine, it's refreshing. Admittedly, this October favorites video is a little bit late. It's already a week into November, but you know what I we can't we can't miss out on a favorites video because they're my favorite before we get going if you guys are new to my channel and you have not subscribed I'd love for you to join the Kate the Great family I'd love for you to click that thumbs up button and also hit that notification bell because that is going to let you know anytime I put out a new video so I've got a bunch of different things here I've got makeup I've got skincare I've got a candle I've got a podcast recommendation I've also got some bedding to recommend so let's jump right in to a foundation. So this is the Rare Beauty Foundation. And I know you guys know that I am a sucker for Rare Beauty. I have this on today and I just feel like, first of all, their shade range is so inclusive. It's huge. So I love that about it. But I also love that it really is a Goldilocks foundation. It's not too dewy, but it's also not heavy and it's not drying. I wore this all day long yesterday out and about in the city with my mask. It wore beautifully when I got home. My makeup still looked really nice. The shade match is perfect. I love the formula. I just think you just can't go wrong with this foundation. Next, I want to mention the powder that I'm wearing on top of that foundation, and I have been wearing this powder out. This is the Kogan Do My Fanchi Brightening Moisture Powder. This is like a runner-up to my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder. I love this. Michelle Wong was actually the person who recommended this to me, and I'm so glad she did because, again, Again, it's another Goldilocks situation. So you can see it actually looks like a creamy latte and it it's like not too matte, but not too dewy. These two things in combination together are my new favorite combo. I do use this to set my under eye as well. I highly recommend this for people who have, you know, a maturing skin who don't want to look like a cakey apple witch. Also, just like everything that I have from Kogan Do looks beautiful on camera, in pictures, on video. The finish is just just so natural and so stunning. So next I'm going to move on to some eye makeup products, first of which is a Fenty eyeliner. Now I know I've talked about the Fenty Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliner a lot, but today I want to talk about a specific shade. I have decided I don't have the entire shade range, but I do have quite a few of these eyeliners and let me tell you, this is my favorite color. This particular shade is called Puppy Eyes and I know it looks just like a brown eyeliner, but it's not. It's actually a metallic bronze eyeliner. I'm wearing it in my waterline, well, I'm wearing it on my upper lash line and my waterline today. The reason why this wins out for me is one, I just think it's such a flattering shade. It's not harsh. It's easy to, you know, look hard when you put like a black eyeliner in your waterline. It just has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's not sparkle. It's just nice and subtle. It just lends that little bit of smokiness to your eyes without trying too hard. And this goes into my waterline better than any of the other shades that I have. I don't know if it's because it's the metallic finish, whereas some of the other ones are matte, but this is just so buttery and smooth and it just transfers perfectly into my waterline. This is what it looks like. You can see it's not, it's not a proper brown. It is like a nice bronzy metallic brown. Anyway, I highly suggest this. It's nice because it's a little bit different than just like a plain black or a plain brown. And I just love how it goes on. So the next thing I want to talk about is a mascara. And I feel like I have a mascara in every single damn favorites video I do now, but I really have found some fantastic mascaras, but I'm very 
very excited about this because it's drugstore. I don't even know what made me pick this up. I was at CDS, I was doing a live stream that night and I was like, I just wanna try something new. Let me just grab something and go. And I picked up the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. Apparently this is a favorite of Hannah Louise Poston's as well. I can definitely see why. I have it on my lashes today and it is so, it's just so soft and sexy. You can go in again and again. You can layer and layer, which you guys know I love to do. I love to do about like 17 coats and you're not gonna get spider lashes and you're not going to get into clump fill territory with it either. I am just so impressed with this. This is the wand and it really gives you these really light, fluffy, sexy lashes. I've honestly reached for it more than some of my other higher end mascaras as of late. So if that tells you anything, this is a, this is a run, do not walk situation. Moving on to a lip gloss that I have been loving. I got this in my Sephora VIB haul. This is the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss. I got two shades of this. The shade I'm wearing right now is called Cider Donut, which also like basically bought it because of what it's called. Also look at how beautiful this shade is. So that's Cider Donut and then I also got Guava Puff which is just like the perfect just proper light juicy pink lip gloss. I don't know if you can actually see this but there are little bitty shimmers in here. I love that in lip gloss. I love a little bit of shimmer. Well I love a lot of shimmer too but I like at least a little bit because it really does reflect that light even better and make your lips look shinier and juicier. So this is an interesting applicator too. You have to click it and then the color comes out at the tip. I'm not entirely sure like what that's about. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but I'm also like, okay. Just gonna add a little bit more here. It doesn't really have a scent that I pick up, but when I lick my lips, it does taste a little bit spicy, just a little bit, maybe like a cider donut, like just a tiny bit. I needed another lip gloss, like I needed a hole in the head, but listen, you guys know I can't resist a lip gloss and I love Bite Beauty and these, these have not disappointed. Mm. Okay, so I know you're like, Kate, we don't need more lip gloss from you. Okay, but listen, these are on sale and they're gorgeous. So we're gonna talk about them. These are the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquers. These are currently on sale at Sephora. They're marked down from $29 to $20. And then on top of that, you get whatever your VIB discount is. That is a steal. And these lip glosses are so buttery. I'm kind of overusing the word buttery today, but listen, if it's buttery, it's buttery. Don't argue with me. Me. How gorgeous are these shades? They look like beautiful candies in my hands. I want to go back and get more, but the shades that I have are Cherry Moon. This is called Some Girls. This has a little teeny tiny bit of sparkle in it. And this shade is called Rio. So I'm going to be extra right now and put one of these glosses on top of the gloss I have on because that's just, that's just how we're rolling today. I think I'm going to try Cherry Moon. Mmm. Okay, that is so beautiful and pigmented. Okay, I, I'm i obsessed with this. Other thing about these is they do have a very, very minor, they have a very minor minty scent and taste. So that should be noted, but uh, run do not walk and get this discount on these damn Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I have to say that shade, why didn't I go with this shade with this shirt? What was I thinking? I mean, this is nice, but this is like, whoa. Moving on to a blush. Okay, so this is an hourglass blush. It is the ambient lighting blush in the shade at night, which is one of their newest blush shades. I have it on my cheeks right now. This is so perfect for fall in winter a little bit goes a long way like it, that's the thing too it's very pigmented so I think it's best if you use a really light fluffy brush that's not too dense so you don't you know go in too hard at first I just think this is the most gorgeous flush this is like an aspen cheeks situation I think this is also a shade that is going to show up really well on a lot of different skin tones whether you're fair or you have a darker complexion I think it's gonna be really flattering on just about everyone next I'm going to move on to some skincare and I got this the other day in my Sephora haul I've been so excited about this this is the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Now, obviously I haven't been using this for an extended period of time, so I will definitely keep you guys updated. But the reason I know about this, I have to completely give credit to Sarah of Better Off Red because she was the one who introduced me to this when I was visiting her and we did our Bride of Frankenstein video and I was taking that makeup off, which if you saw the video, it was a lot of makeup. This is what I put on afterward and it, 
it blew me away. I love the smell of it. It's obviously a very, it's a citrus scent. It's a very subtle citrus scent and it is infused with 5% vitamin C. It is a moisturizer that is deeply hydrating without being greasy to visibly brighten dull skin, fight the signs of dehydration and damage and provide advanced antioxidant support. I love how this feels. It is, I feel like I have a lot of moisturizers. I love them all for different reasons, but very, I feel like the theme of this entire video is it's just right. It's Goldilocks because a lot of my moisturizers are like super de duper thick or they're just not hydrating enough. They're like a daily moisturizer. This is very hydrating. It is rich. That's that's no lie. But when I put it on, I don't feel like it's too much. And I honestly, when I run my fingers along my face, because sometimes I like to do that, it is so so smooth, like my skin feels like glass. I also love the fact that you're getting two in one. It's a two in one situation. You're getting vitamin C and hydration. And I do feel like, I know a lot of people talk about how you shouldn't be using like retinol and a vitamin C serum at the same time. But here's the deal. This in combination with my Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream, it's perfect. They're both so hydrating. I don't have any irritation and I feel like I'm taking care of everything. Thing I need to take care of. It comes with this little handy dandy spatula, although I do have to say the only company I've found that has the spatula situation figured out is Pharmacy because they have a magnetic top to their products and then the spatula is magnetic so you never lose it. But like, what am I supposed to do with this? I just like awkwardly set it on top of it, but okay, like that's gonna fall. All right, figure it out, Sunday Riley. But besides that, this is bomb. Mm. <sighs> Since I have so many glosses, you know what I'm gonna do? just for fun. I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to apply another gloss shade. What shall I pick? I'm going to go in with this. This is the Marc Jacobs in Some Girls. Mm. Oh, that's the thing about this gloss too. It feels hydrating. Like I almost feel like I don't need a lip balm before I put this on. Kind of serves as both. Okay, that's that's a Kate shade right there. Okay, so next I want to move on to a body cream. And this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Origins Ginger Souffle. I used my VIB sale discount as a reason to pick this up again. I just needed a body moisturizer. And again, I feel like it's either too thick or too thin. You know what I mean? And I was reminded of this. This is one of my mom's favorite scents. This is a whipped body cream. And this to me is like, in terms of formula and how it feels is very similar to how I feel about the Sunday Riley CEO. It's thick and rich and hydrating, but it absorbs into my skin beautifully. And again, I just feel like glass skin. Also, the scent is just intoxicating. Like, I feel like it makes me high. It has skin nourishing olive, grapeseed, rice bran, and apricot kernel oils. They invisibly surround skin in a creamy cocoon of softness. It's creamy and yummy smelling, but it also has that ginger, that spiciness of the ginger that cuts through it. It's like the perfect combination to me. Okay, so I feel like this is the perfect segue into the candle I want to talk about. So this is from Bath & Body Works, duh. This scent is spiced ginger. I, I have become a full-blown candle hoarder. I have like 10 candles over here. I have no right to have that many candles because my space is so tiny. The way I feel about this candle scent is the way I feel about this body cream. So I am a person, I don't love sweet scents. And a lot of Bath & Body Works sweet candles, I've tried. I've tried to like them. I put them in the kitchen thinking it's going to smell like baked goods. And they do, but it's almost like sickeningly sweet. For instance, I got one of their candles. I'm trying to think it was like pecan pumpkin waffles. I'm just like waiting to get through it. I'm like, all right, I'm done with this. This is just, it's too much. This is truly perfect because this is sweet, but it also, again, has that spiciness of the gingerbread that cuts through it and it's just perfect. So the fragrance notes are vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg, and essential oils. Oh, it's just fall, it's Christmas just you need it. Next I want to move on to some bedding. So I, I know that sounds kind of weird. I don't usually talk about bedding but I just this has to be mentioned. One of my subscribers Lauren Boyless, thank you so much for sending us these incredible sheets. So they're called peach skin sheets and they are the most comfortable sheets I have ever experienced. I mean to tell you I've been sleeping so much better. Well for a couple of different reasons but speaking of the sheets because they're so soft 
I notice that my body is more comfortable and then I just sleep better. So I'm gonna link those sheets as well as every single thing I've talked about in this video today down below in the description box. Last but not least, I want to mention a podcast and it's a podcast that I have been listening to for quite some time now. I've mentioned it several times on my live streams. I'm obsessed with it. It is called You're Wrong About. It is done by two writers, Sarah Marshall and Michael Hobbs, and they are a delight. These people really do their research. It's a podcast that really does a deep dive into media, our perceptions, stigmas, things like that. My friend Heather actually recommended the podcast to me because you know I'm obsessed with the Stepford Wives, the original Stepford Wives from 1975. They did a damn podcast on it and they broke down the novel. They also talked about the movie. They talked about feminism and like they broke so many things down and I learned so much from that podcast. It sent me on a rampage of listening to the rest of their episodes. I highly recommend this podcast. They are not only well-informed, but they're funny. They have a great sense of humor. They have a really great connection. If I'm being honest, it's really hard for me to find a podcast that I really connect to, that I want to like listen to every single week, that I like the dynamic of the people who are talking. So I can honestly say I have listened to so many episodes now. I can't not recommend this enough. Okay guys, so that wraps up my October favorites. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys haven't checked out my happy hour live streams, you definitely should. They are not your average live stream. It's become such a fantastic community of people. We just get together, have fun, drink, snack, uh, do makeup, talk about skincare, all that good stuff. So please join us tomorrow at 7 Eastern Standard Time. And cheers till next time. Mm. Yeah.